Fireside Chat. I'm Tina. This is Tabby. Hey. Hey. So we do projects all the time with glitter. Um, Tabby not only does projects, but she also is on the phones a lot and answering people's questions. So, you know, we kind of got together and found out what some of the questions are. And we're going to go ahead and have a fireside chat about them. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right. So um, this right here is an image uh, that I put together and it's all the same glitter. It's called Tiny Bubbles Blush Champagne. It's a brand new glitter. And I put it up here to kind of illustrate how it looks different from fine to mammoth. You put the two together uh, side by side, which I did. Why is it being so pokey? Here, you would think perhaps that it's a different glitter. Does that look like it, a different it, glitter to you? It really does. In person, when you have the huge difference between the flake sizes, you'll see it. When you have all the flake sizes together and you're seeing the graduation to the larger size, the color difference is tremendous. Yeah. And that's because... Yeah, it is. It's, it's because of a couple different things. Um, with craft glitter especially, you have the phenomenon of um, light. So how much light is bouncing off of each flake. Mm -hmm. When you have a quarter inch square, whew, that's a huge amount of light going and bouncing off that thing. When you've got a little, uh, you know, point... Uh, zero one five flake. It's very very tiny. Uh, there's hardly any surface for that light to bounce, and so that that's one factor. But the second factor that nobody thinks about is the edges. Yes. Right. So craft glitter is very very thick, and uh, so when it gets to be um, cut really really small, you're seeing tons of edges. You're seeing tons of edges, and it's not going to sparkle right. as well. They're not it, reflective. It, it's not capable of that. Right. So let's go back to that first image that we were looking at. Okay, so you know, here you go, and you're seeing mostly edges at fine. At fine. You're seeing very, very few edges, but do you see where the, the, the black is? You see the shadows and so forth? That's those are the edges. That's the edges. Right. And, so and as it piles on top of each other, right. you're gonna see more of it. You can see, see it graduating from the fat flake to the colossal. Exactly. When you hit the mammoth squares, that's just like the little squares you find on a disco ball. Yeah, they're huge. So they're monstrous. Yeah, but you can see the amount of dark gets significantly more and more and more and more until you get down to where it actually affects the, the actual color. So that's something to keep in mind when uh, you're buying a, a glitter. You know, if you've bought it in Mammoth and, and you just want it to be finer to work with because you like the fine flakes, keep in mind, you may end up with a different it's color on your project. It's not going to be as sparkly and the color's going to be different yeah. because of the sparkle difference. Right. So that's just, you know, it's a, it's a note to, to keep in mind when you're shopping. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one here. And uh, I shot this this morning. Um, this is a, a Mammoth Square. Okay, so it's the most reflective. Mm -hmm. And I put a, a blue pumpkin right next to it. Uh, and I did it for one reason only, and that was because, do you see how that silver has become blue? See that right there? Yeah. That, that's reflection. When, you, when you're dealing with these big flakes, keep in mind, you are going to see, uh, it's like a mini mirror. Everything around it, it is a mini mirror. Yeah. Um, using it in larger projects, anything that goes by this, anything that you've got next to it, it's going to pick up that color, no matter what that color is. So the color is not going to stay true. Well, you know, it's one of those things where that can be used to your benefit, like in a photo shoot, if you want to have a reflected light, that, that can actually be kind of kind of groovy. But if you're trying to keep something, like you're at a photo shoot, let's say, and the other day I was at one and I was wearing a red sweatshirt and I turned the glitter red. You know, I had to take my sweatshirt off and change it into a white t-shirt because I was ruining the shot. So, you know, it can be used for a pro and a con, just keep in mind. Now, when you get down into a fine flake, it, it's not going to do that. It's hard to do that much. much. Almost not at all. It, it, it's such a it's such a low it's reflection. Yeah, I mean you'd have to really be pumping it in there. But for mammoth, I mean you know this is this was this far away, um, and it's like it totally blew. Um, but it can be. I, I remember when I was totally above, makes it yeah with the photo color. shoot. It was on the ground, and the red on my sweatshirt was up here, and yet that distance reflected it, it off and, and made the glitter a different color. Yeah, so even though I've got it sitting right here, it, it can still happen even from a distance. So that's something to keep in mind, you know, with, with that. So here's here's the next one. And I, I put this together uh, to, to show you something. So all of these right here, um, are it's all glitter, obviously. These two over here are polyester. And these two over here are craft. And people say, I want glitter that sparkles the biggest. What would you tell them on the phone? Yeah. Go to Polly. Polly is going to be your best bet. Number one, um, 
it's just a better flake. It's the Cadillac of the, of the glitter world, yeah. whereas the Crackler is the VW bus. Yeah, it is. Um, it's not gonna, sh the craft glitter is not gonna shine as much. Poly glitter, the shimmer and shine on the poly glitter is an oh my god reaction. It is. It's it huge. Is. So, you know, there's a couple reasons for it. Obviously, one, better colorants and coatings, but it's a thinner film. Polyester is super, super thin. Craft glitter is super, super thick. So, edges. Well, and as it's you can edges see, again. here's the ultra fine compared to the fine. Right. But the two chunkies, we have the craft chunky and the poly chunky. They're both silver, but the poly yeah. is fabulous. It's it's really a, 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 a nice... It's a thinner film. It's a thinner film. You're seeing less edges. People don't think of edges. Well, I think about edges all the time. It's part of yeah. what I do. It's like, do I want... To, are the edges going to be a problem and so forth? What's my, my biggest sparkle? You know, what am I going to get? Dimension. Poly. Yeah. Dimensions. Yeah. Um, Dimensions are huge when you're trying to look at the reactions and actions that you're trying to get from your glitter. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, here's ultra fine poly, chunky poly, more edges, fewer edges, larger flake for the light to bounce off over here and smaller here. So not only is it, uh, you know, obviously um, uh, the actual surface that matters, but the, the edges matter. So uh, mm -hmm. that's just an illustration here to say, if you want your biggest sparkle, go with poly and go with a bigger flake. And uh, craft glitter, there's, there's nothing wrong with it, but you can see you're getting down in the sparkle factor compared to these two. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big difference. <laughs> it's something to keep in mind. Okay, so we're on to um, flake size. We're just going to do like a pros and cons of, of what we think mm -hmm. about each flake size. So this is the uh, fine, it's as small as you can go in craft, which is a, a 0 .015. So. What's the pros for you? The pros are I get more coverage. Yep. Um, <clears throat> the con is I don't get as much sparkle. Yep. So. I, I agree. Um, the pro for me is doing more detail work. Mm -hmm. You know, you can really get in there and, and lay down a very fine line without, you know, worrying about, you know, flakes taking out. Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. cons, again, like she said, reduce sparkle, too many edges. But, uh, and, uh, that's, that's pretty much my feeling on it. Okay, so the next size is uh, the regular chunky. For whatever reason, um, I have to pull it off our website, which is fine. So, Tab, what, what's your pro and con on this one? It's a larger flake size, so you're going to get more sparkle, but you can't do the, de the detailed work. It's You really have to watch it on this one. And the bigger the flake you're going, you're going to find that even more so. So for your fine work, you really want to stay with the fine. On the on the chunky, I like the bigger sparkle. So when doing um, small artwork like the kids' crafts in the in the craft yards, sure. um, the chunky does just fine. Yeah. Well. It, it gives a good enough sparkle. It's the my other, favorite flake size, actually. Yeah. Because it's, it's, the problem it's is... It's versatile. Yeah, the problem with fine is it really does reduce the sparkle. And I'm, like, if I'm glittering, I want it to be sparkly. Mm -hmm. So, for me, this is, um, this is my go-to flake. I use it for just about everything. Um, it, if it's really, really fine detail, yeah, okay, I'll grab the fine. But otherwise, um, I want that sparkle. That's what's important to me. And I'll put up with a little bit of having to move it around to get Whenever the details in there. Whenever you're looking for sparkle, and, and I get this a lot, they're asking me, well, I want a huge sparkle, but I want a small flake. Go to the poly. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the craft glitter is not going to give that for you. However, if you don't want to go to the poly because of the price point, it's a bit more expensive. It's the Cadillac. If you come back down here to the craft glitter, the chunky's going to do you just fine. It is. And, and for the biggest selection, because it is the most popular, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's one of those things where it's a, it's a nice, happy medium, um, you know, you can still do some detail for sure. You aren't going to necessarily get in there and be able to move it with toothpicks and stuff, but, yeah. you know, it's, 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 a, it's a great size, so this, this is my, I'm a fan. And so. see, my second one is the next one we're going to bring up, which is the fat flake. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull it up. Okay, great. So this is the fat flake, and we're back to our nice image here. Um, take it. So, Ab, what's your pro and con on fat? Well, I like the fat because it is a chunkier flake, so it has a bit more substance than the chunky does. Yeah. 
The chunk is a 0 0.040 flake. The fat flake is a 0 0.062 flake, so it's slightly bigger. I love the shimmer and shine that it gets. Yeah, I agree. It's it's becoming one of my favorites. Uh, chunky used to be my favorite, but when I saw, when I saw the fat show up, I was like, oh, I like the fat. It's great for photo shoots. It's it uh, small enough where it will uh, still do a nice drop without you know plummeting to the ground, mm -hmm. uh, and it catches a lot of light for the camera. So that's uh, a really good. That's coming good in size. As, as, yeah. a, as a really popular size. We're starting to bring, put it, bring in more colors in, in the, the, the fat flakes because of that. that. So, um, that situation. so again, I, I guess the only con really is again detail work. Right? Yeah, the detail work. You've got to go with the fine, finer flakes for the detail yeah. work. Yeah. Okay, good. So I brought up uh, jumbo flakes. So jumbo is the uh, 0 0.094, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to behold. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. This, um, a lot of our clientele have been using the jumbo and the colossal, which would be next for their floats. Yeah. They also do a mixture of all of the flake sizes. Yes. Sometimes adding the mammoth in as well, which yeah. is a bit tricky, but we'll get to that in a minute. But they'll do their own glitter mix. Yeah. So that they can come up with the varying different flake sizes and the different shimmers and shines each flake size is going to give. And it's true. She's right. It, each one does have a different look. So when you mix them together, which I'm a big fan of, I love mixing fat jumbo and colossal together. Ah, it's great. Oh. But yeah, um, so this size here, you start having to worry about reflection a little bit. It does do a bit of clumping if you're not careful with your project. You yeah. really have to spread it out and make sure that the glitter lies flatter. Yeah, don't use it for like chucking it at walls and stuff. It'll just sit there like on standing flake. And I cover standing flake in several other videos. And that's where the, the glitter doesn't lay flat against your wall. It'll stick like this on the edge. This stuff, when it gets big like this, you it, have to press it in. You have to press it you in. You have it's, to flatten it. Right, exactly. But but if you can do that, wow. Wow. But, yeah. This is great. <laughs> it's worth it. Okay. Uh, so this is colossal. It's a point one two five, which is a full eighth of an inch. It is it is beautiful. It is huge. It bounces tons of light. It reflects everything. So it does. That's something Anything to keep in mind. By you're going to end up with that reflection happening. Um, you can see the differences in the flakes one more time. We've got darker over here where there's a little bit of shading because it's piled up on itself. Exactly. We've got it shining off of the light that's actually shining into the container that we took yeah. the picture with. Yeah, this is actually the reflection. And she's right. These dark areas right here are all edges that are stacked on each other. So you can see how So they're how more dramatic. stacked like this yeah. than they are flat where you can actually exactly. see Exactly. So These we, are laying flat. Yeah. This dark section here, they're laying on their edge and they're piled up on top of each other. Exactly. So when I when we shoot these things, I will take the trays and we'll actually like shake it, shake it, shake it to try and get those edges to, to straighten out rather than sitting up like this because you don't want to see that. So if you're using it in a situation where it's loose, like a photo shoot or something, you may have to manipulate your glitter a little bit to get you're those edges have to, to press lay down. It down and, and, yeah. and wiggle it because it's going to. It wants to stand on its edge. It, it does. does. It stacks nicely. It does. It's very it happy does. to do that, so you have to encourage it to go and yeah. lay flat. You'll you'll really see that with the mammoth square. But if you want to bounce tons and tons colossal. of color and light, colossal is the, the way to go. The way to go. I, and it's so beautiful to use it in, in other projects, even when you're stacking glitter, like in the sand art and stuff like that. It's just so big. <laughs> All it's right. It's beautiful. Yeah, the last one is... Mammoth squares. I call this the disco ball square. Yeah. Because it is. Stay open. <laughs> Make it large. It is the disco ball. It's the same flake size that you see on disco balls. On the mini lining. ones. Yeah, the mini ones, yeah. That's true because it's only a quarter of an yeah. inch. <laughs> but once again, you'll see the reflective happening with the light above. Yep. You'll see the darker areas yeah, where these, the these glitter these, is standing on top of each other. Yeah, I mean, do you see these little slices, these little lines that are sort of through? Those are the edges. Those are the edges. It's like you can really see it with that mammoth square. So you want to make sure they're laying down. And a lot of people complain about this because it won't lay down like um, yeah, you can't the just, fat flakes. You can't just toss it chunky. and expect it to lay down. You actually have to press you have it to manually. Layer. Manually manipulate these yeah. a lot. It's a lot of work. But Some people actually go for the tweezers if yeah. they want. Seriously, no, I have a full look at it. I have, yeah. Um, a lot of our artists have been doing that. 
I also have heard a con uh, of overcoating and oversealing. It's such a large surface that it just knocks that shine down completely. It'll dull it. It dulls it. It just looks terrible. Mm -hmm. with, with those other flakes, you can kind of get away with it because there's so much going on. This surface is so big that when you seal coat it, it just... It, it, it dulls. Yeah, it looks terrible. So I would recommend, you know, just doing a really good job of adhesing, uh, adhesive from underneath mm -hmm. and try not to seal over the top. Um, I, I wanted to bring up a funny video of, of Mammoth Squares being used loose. So, you got a minute? Okay, we got a minute. So the last thing I wanted to bring up was a um, video, a lip sync battle that Melissa McCarthy did, and she's singing Colors of the Wind by Pocahontas. And um, the studio basically takes like five or six colors of Mammoth Squares and hooks it up to a fan and blows oh, it all no. over her. And I, I just thought I would play it for you. So squares can be used for more than just, uh, you know, like on art. You could actually use it in a photo shoot. And in this case, <laughs> an absolutely ridiculous one. So she, she's, and she's got her glasses on. Yeah, she's got glasses on because those Mammoth Squares, those edges can hurt. <laughs> So they're about ready to chuck mammoth squares at her right now. And they get stuck all over her. It's terrific. Oh, so cute. I'll save the music for now. And here, comes, oh. here come the squares. <laughs> there you go. There we go. You can there, see they're all the over. squares are all over her. Those are the beauty of mammoth squares there. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're doing anything like this for real, you really want to make sure to have those safety glasses yeah, on. Yeah, and mammoth squares can actually, they, they can hurt. They I, can I've hurt. actually, when I even was just moving them around uh, and, and doing it really quickly, I was like, oh, actually, that kind of hurts a little bit. So just keep that in mind. It's another little uh, con. Yeah. But, but the pro is that, wow, that was great. That and, was a good And you were able to really see it. You saw the camera really grab that glitter. You could see that that was glitter. And uh, not mm -hmm. only were they chucking glitter, but they were chucking water at the same time, and yet the squares were able to so they you know, got, latch they on and stick. stuck to her. That's how they got them to stick. Because mammoth squares would not actually stick uh, to you if you didn't have something like lotion something or liquid water or, or something. Yeah. So Okay, great. So I think we wrapped it up. I think we got it. Okay. Um, this bump. This bump. Woo!